My name is Amelia from the project Fabricants de Futur. And today we are celebrating Global Non Killing Day. I'd like to introduce a friend of ours. Her name is Ayanda Jorawal Salam. Hello. Ayanda is part Afghan and part European. Her name means future makers in Pashto. There she is. This is her name in Pashto. Pashto is one of the official languages of Afghanistan. And I want to show you something. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Ooh. Let me help you. Ah. Okay, so Afghanistan is here, quite close to China. It has a border with Iran, Pakistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. Okay, now we know where Afghanistan is. Thank you. I'll put that over there. Ooh. Okay. Ayanda um, wants to tell you something else. She says that Afghan people know a lot about killing. War and terrorists have been killing ordinary Afghan people every day for 40 years. That's a lot of killing. Ayanda says she doesn't like it. Big important global politicians say they want to stop terrorists killing Afghan people, but they always do things to make sure that the killing continues. Why? Hmm. Ayanda has an idea. Uh, yeah, maybe she's right. Afghan people sent me photos of the killing to show people in the West that real killing is not fun or amusing like in a film or a computer game. So I made a photo book. Here it is. A photo book to show people in the West. However, people in the West did not know how to respond. photos but we won't show you only one of the photos. Ayanda wants to say that killing Afghan children at school is a main activity for the terrorists. She doesn't like that either. One day a poet called Joe said he would write poems about the killing photographs. Ayanda thinks the poems are amazing. She chose one, which I will read to you now. Let's find the photo I am in. Where is it? Here it is. This is the one. Where it is dark, 
when it should be light. Here is colour and silence, replacing the rupture of sirens blaring, an X-ray image of ultraviolence. The light conveys it all so coolly. The carmine trickle of blood, the black kernels of a lost girl's eyes. Impossible to look at and contain so that even light abdicates in the face of so much pain. Dissolving into smoke and finally, as darkness steals across us, lying asleep beside you on this car seat. The light is draining, for this is the inside of a car boot, shadows from beneath a blindfold, death's cowl, the dark furtive track of a bullet in the silencer barrel, the black hole at the end of a telescopic sight, the point of a knife, where the gravity of darkness takes hold, takes over, subsumes all, beyond hatred, beyond compassion, beyond reason, beyond knowing, leaving only the dark vacuum of space, the darkness where it should be light. Gracias. Thank you. Tashakor.